Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at another new unit that has never been on the show before. And this one is an amazing value for such a big fifth wheel. This is a 2022 Heartland Bighorn Travelers model 37RD. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Bighorn Travelers and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. to another video i am super excited to be showing you the bighorn travelers amazing floor plan at an amazing value but before i begin i would like to say hi to will hey will hey guys. how's it going today it's going good we're still here at explore usa in austin texas yes sir and um yeah i'm excited to take a look at this bighorn traveler now just to um not cause any confusion this is a bighorn traveler which is different from a standard uh bighorn like we did a couple days ago yes yes so. yes definitely there is difference as well. It's very similar from the Keystone Montana in a Montana high country. Yes. This is going to be a little bit less. All the features that I know of off the top of my head, I'll let you know. Yes. Let's begin. Okay. Model is Bighorn Travelers 37RD. The actual tip, tip length of this fifth wheel is 40 feet, six inches. The dry weight is 12,545 pounds, and that hitch weight is 2,780 pounds. Right up front here is a beautiful painted fiberglass front cap. Bighorn Travelers, I like the little mountain design. It looks very modern. Yes. It looks good. Right here it does have the Rotoflex trailer pin box. Uh, if you're buying a newer one, it's gonna be the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Yes. Same thing. Coming all down the side here, we do got storage. Oh, that's nice power wheel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or I guess it's not power. No, not is it? power, but it is a reel. Yeah, nice. Oh, right here is prep for a generator. Okay. And then here, Sir William, is your uh, battery disconnect, which I was supposed to turn that off, right? Yeah. We're trying to save these batteries. This one already has batteries hooked up. Your inverter and everything. <laughs> Sorry. Coming on down the side here. I'll never forgive you, Will. <laughs> Do not cough in the middle of my episodes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Coming on down the side here, propane tanks. What is nice, you still have six-point hydraulic auto leveling, yes. which is a nice feature. Now, here's what you don't have. You don't have frameless windows. This one has traditional windows. Right. Um, where a uh, traditional Bighorn is going to have frameless windows. We do have a nice power awning with LED lights. Uh, just on this side, there's nothing down there. Okay. Coming on down here, really nice storage. And again, it does connect to that front storage, makes a small storage space feel a lot bigger. Held up by a magnet with the very nice slam latch doors. Right over here. Oh, a little cooktop. Okay. Okay. Yeah, a little Flame King cooktop right there. Very nice. Not bad, not bad, I would say so. And then over here, well, we do have more ride steps. Yeah. I don't think they're hydraulic. Am I wrong? You can see. Oh, they are. They are hydraulic assisted. Very nice. Hydraulic assisted makes it easy to get the steps up and down, in and out of your RV. Cool. Little fact, guys, level out your fifth wheel first, then put your solid steps down. That's right. Uh, this does have the weather guard optimal thermal package which is a heated and closed underbelly with heating pads on the tanks. And Will, they use Asdell, which Very you guys nice. know we love. Yeah. Asdell is a green based material that will never delaminate on you. A little bit of storage. Cool, cool. And then look at these tires, Will, they're the Trailer Kings. I love those. They are the ST235-80R16 with your Moride CRE 3000 suspension. And that looks like a spare tire, doesn't it, Well, Sure does. They probably, the transport probably had a blowout or something. Yep, yep. But, you know, that, that would all be taken care of, of on course. pickup day. Yep. Coming on down the side here, here's the slide out. There's, this, oh, let's find out. Let's find out. Oh! No spare? No spare. Must have had it blown out from the factory. Yep. Hey, 
respectfully, Texas, you suck at road maintenance, okay? <laughs> so they probably uh, crossed a little Oklahoma, Texas. Right. Popped a tire there, because these roads, I promise you, I've never seen roads worse. I thought Indiana had bad roads. Right. Or was it Ohio? No, Indiana. Indiana, yeah. Mm. Indiana, like, got all new roads compared to this. Right. Right here, there's a 300 pound hitch. You cannot tell behind it, it's 300 pounds of vertical weight. It is prepped for a Furion backup camera. I believe, well, the regular big horns, I'm trying to see if I can see one, but I can't. I believe they do have a fiberglass rear cap to where the, I travelers, believe you're right. the yeah. traveler does not. And look how high this ladder is. Are you gonna be able to do that? I don't think so. I don't not think after, so either. Not after wind stop. <laughs> Throw uh, that leg up though, give it a try. I gotta give it a try. It does have a one piece TPO roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Uh, don't hurt yourself though. I can't even You get can't? That high. You want me to try? Here, I can try. Hang on. Hang on, I got this. You ready? Yeah. You ready like Spider Man? You ready? Here, come here. I need your shoulder. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's go. Take a look. Up here on the roof, you can see this nice one piece TPO roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. Right up there, you can see that it does have the 360 digital antennas. And then you do have not one, but two places for Max Air fans. Here we go now. All right, be careful. Last, that's your last step. Oh, God. Whoa. Oh. Jeez. In hell already. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking his fat ass up on the roof in the Lone Star State showing you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up 50 amp service right there. Okay. Sheesh. Oh. Wow. Not one blowout, but two blowouts. Yes, sir. That's a blowout. The other side was probably a screw or something. All right. Thanks to Texas for that. Yeah. Well, well, I'm sorry, but we already started the review and we're going to finish it. Yep. Come on down. Right here's where people are dumping their tanks. Okay. Got your uh, water heater right here. Right over here. It's the other side of that storage. Outdoor shower, black tank drink, inlet field and everything. Cool. Potable water, potable, potable. Other side of the propane and everything. Well, well, the outside of the Bighorn looks great. Except the damage over there. Right. But the inside does look even better. Let's go take a look. All right. All right, we'll start up front. Nice big bedroom up here. And also upstairs is the bathroom right here. Coming down the stairs is your kitchen, dining area, and all the way in the back is that rear den. Where are we starting today? Well, we're starting in that rear den. Okay. Well, first, we must give a big shout out to our sponsor, Lippert. This episode is sponsored by Kurt. There's a reason why manufacturers are all switching over to the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Jen and I went with the Kurt A16 fifth wheel hitch. Uh, this is perfect for our truck because we do have a short bed and it's on the slider. And it also makes it very user friendly with the red, yellow, and green symbols telling you whether it's safe to tow or not. With this hitch, it also, it wraps around the pin of the fifth wheel hitch so that it has the best connection and makes for the smoothest ride. This hitch also articulates in each direction so that you have much less chucking while going down the road. Making it a smoother ride and the best riding experience when yes. towing a fifth wheel. That's why Will chose the Kurt A16. That's why the manufacturers are using the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Thank you so much for Kurt for sponsoring yes, this video. Let's continue the video. Great, well, we are starting back here. Look at how beautiful this unit is. Yes. This is fake. It is. But they got that look going. Yep. Is it fake? It's fake, yeah. Okay, yeah, definitely fake. But still looks fantastic. Right over here, we got the three sofas. Nice storage above. Last one right there. Yes, sir. Three big windows on the slide out. Right over here is a nice sofa. This is a trifold sofa. Okay. And then here, 
we do have Slow Rise MCD shades. Cool. Directly across, we have the same exact thing. The difference this time is that I'm going to show everybody. Let's try it for the sofa. You okay. know why, Will? Because it's Texas? It's Texas, that's why. <laughs> yes, sir. We haven't been doing this in the past I know. few videos. We've been getting lazy, Will. We've been getting lazy. Very nice. So not it's not just this sofa. Both sofas do come out. Yes. So you can have double sleeping areas, which is very nice. And then it's easy to put back up. And then we'll check, take a look at that tall storage for us. Okay, back here around the TV, we do have some storage right here. Nice little shelving up here. And more cabinet space right there. And then in the back well, we do have a TV that yes. stays up like that with two windows on both sides. Okay. Weird, no balances right here. Yeah, that is kind of weird. I don't mind it though. I don't either. It blends in very well. We got little Vanna White lights here, the 50 inch screen, and then underneath here, we got storage. Okay. Drawers, wireless phone charger right nice. there. Nice. And then more storage there well okay very nice and what's even nicer is directly across from the entertainment center is this theater seat sofa so right over here we pull this oh yeah we are camping now well if i'm not watching the movie are we really camping no you know what i'm saying no way me and jen and will last night we watched miss congeniality <laughs> Let me tell you, there's no better, better way I like to camp than watching Miss Congeniality. That's right. And we were watching it, actually... For the third time? No. Oh. No, not for the third time. Don't do that, Will. We were watching it because... Um, leave it on a comment below. Let us know where you think Miss Congeniality took place. Oh, yeah. That, that is why we were watching it. That's a little clue. But very, very nice living room area. And then the dinette is over here. And it's a strange type of dinette. It is. Half booth, half table and chairs. And the table and chairs is definitely under there. Yeah. Um, but even me sitting here, I mean, look how high it is. It on my is, chest. yeah. Very is that unique. too high? Yep, it is. I okay. mean, not if I'm trying to like... Right. Not if I'm eating cereal. And I'm trying to protect my food, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it definitely is a little bit higher. But again, I like it because it's unique and it's multi-purpose and dual functional because you can have the little seat there. And this is probably going to be more like an office space yes. anyway. Yep. Well, well, do you want to show us the kitchen? Of course. But before I do, I want to give a quick reminder. We are now partnering with RV Retailer. Yes. So if you're looking at this unit or any other unit we show, we can help you nationwide. Just go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com, um, fill out one of the forms, and we'll be happy to help or answer your questions. I love it, Will. Cool, starting right over here is the nice pantry area, nice big pantry. Okay, okay. Over here, a little bit of storage above the microwave, which is a nice big standard microwave. It looks like it's a not convention. Okay. A little bit of storage right there, nice window back there. Three burner suburban cooktop with Ooh. a little bit of counter space to Will, the right. It's the Elite Series. Elite Series, okay. Very and nice. Oven down below. And then, of course, a little drawer there, and a couple drawers here. Yes, sir. Over here, it is the red tag special. Do you think because it has damage, <laughs> it's the red tag special? Probably. Guys, um, I promise you guys. Um, it's not the first time that's happened. Yeah, it's and nobody last. nobody buys this unit with that damage. Not at all. Um, and even if there was a dealership, even if it's a dealership we work with, Never buy the RV with the damage. Get right. the damage fixed. Right. It's under warranty. It's under insurance. Yep. And it was just a little panel there. Very easy to replace. Yes. Uh, nice fridge there. Oops. I wasn't supposed to do that. I pulled. And for everybody who's worried about the damage, just order a new unit. Come in here, look at this unit in person, and then just order off of it. Yes. You know? And another freezer drawer there. Some more little pantry space here. Good for some sheet pans and whatnot. Well, your unit came in with transport damage, didn't sure it? Sure did. Yep. yep. And you took yours like a sucker, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, we got half of it fixed. Right. 
a uh, little bit of storage there. It made it usable, it's just the decals. And honestly, I just haven't had time to go back yet to right. get those fixed. It's because we're busy camping. It is, but next week, that's the goal to get that fixed. Nice backsplash there, good counter space on both sides of the sink, which is a nice big like a black single sink. bowl. Yeah, sink right there. <laughs> and a little spray faucet here. Very nice. Farmhouse style, solid surface countertops. Okay. What I'm realizing is I think they did this this height because it's a little bit shorter oh. than the countertops, but a little bit higher than a normal table. Interesting. Kind of like a multi-purpose. Couple drawers here. Some storage underneath. There and there. And here as well. Very nice. Well, cool. well, let's take a look at that shower. Okay. For those of you guys that don't know, Will is a staggering six foot three. Shout outs that the buttons are all like this. Listen, guys, we don't want to type in passcodes. We just want to push buttons. That's right. Nice all one piece fiberglass shower, which I do love. It's front line. Okay. Yeah. Nice seat there. It does have the dome. It's a really good shower. This definitely passes. Bing! That's shower test seal of approval. Right over here, we got some towel storage and hangers. Yep. Okay, right over here, we do got a nice medicine cabinet for all your medicines. Nice little sink area, solid surface as well. A little bit of storage underneath. Oh, Poor I tapped the top first. I was uh, like, what in the world? Well, this is a prime poop position. Bing! Nice. And then look at this fan here. I haven't seen that. That's oh. interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Probably due to shortages. Probably do. And then, well, look at this. In the master bedroom, we got a king size bed. Very nice. Tables on the side of it. Headboards there. Those tables are for you to plug in your cell phones. You got lights there and your headboards there. Um, let's see if there's storage underneath the bed. Okay. You know there is. You know there isn't. Really? Yep. Oh, sorry. I was just too weak. <laughs> there is storage underneath the bed and there is your spare chairs. I was about to say, where the heck did they put the spare right. chairs? TV right here. Nice dual windows. Again, with the wireless phone charger. Six dresser drawers here. That's nice. Yes, sir, it is. And then over here, we do got prepped for a stackable wow, washer and dryer. Wow, that's a good closet. And then we got another closet over here. I like how much, like, a little additional space you got here. Yeah. So you can actually get up and get out of bed. And then there's your closet space there. Cool, cool. Well, well, everybody's dying to know what the MSRP is on this unit. And we will let everybody know. But first, we have to give everybody three things we love about this unit and three things we don't like about it, Will. What do we do with first? Three things we like. Want to mix it up this time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to mix it up. A little okay. shaking and baking. We're going down? Yes, sir. Well, you go first. Okay. Okay. One thing that I really like is a rear den here. Yes. It also is not raised. Okay. Typically, a lot of times rear dens, they do raise uh, for more storage underneath. Um, now, they probably wouldn't have been able to anyways in this floor plan, but this is the way I prefer it. You actually have head height, feels more home-like, feels yes. more comfortable. And let's claustrophobic. Yes. Well, that's number one. Number two, I'm going to say that front storage on the outside. Okay. As Will did mention, um, traditionally, a floor plan like this will be raised up so you have storage underneath. Yes. This time you didn't have that, and that was one of Will's likes, but what that does is it really does take away from a lot of exterior storage. And so that front part, how it all kind of combines into one, yeah. I think they did a fantastic job, and I really, really do like that. So that's number two, and then, well, do you have a number third? Um... Because I do if you don't. Go ahead. I'm going to say the colors in here. Yeah. It's different. It's like a farmhouse, but a different style of farmhouse. What would you call this, Will? Like exposed wood, natural wood? Like a natural wood, kind of. Not natural, because it is like a stained. Right. But, I don't know, yeah, just the wood look. Looks nice. It's nice. It's not the same old, same old that we're used to seeing in fifth wheels or travel trailers or yep. motorhomes, really. And I think they did a really good job. Um, and, and I'm going to combo that, Well, The price of this unit's really good as well, you know. It is. Um, but you guys will hear that in just a moment. Great. So that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we dislike about this unit. Okay. Do you mind if I go first? Not at all. I am going to say I do not like this dinette setup. Not a fan of that. I don't like sitting, eating at my chest. 
Never have been a fan of that. Never will be a fan of that. Um, it's just not my cup of tea. I agree. That's number one. Well, number two. Okay, in this kitchen, I don't feel like there's a lot of prep space. There's not. You know, you get a little bit of working space here. And then, you know, if you want to set on one of these sides, you know, you're probably going to need a little drying rack, a coffee maker, and your cap counter space is gone, you know? Right? No, I agree. But to counteract what you just said, you do have again, this. you do yeah. have this, and it is raised up, which sucks yep. while you're eating, but it's great while you're prepping. Right? So that's number two. And then, Will, I got something up in the bedroom okay. that I did not like at all. Oh, I never mind. What? 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 Was it this? No, I had another dislike. Oh. But... Well, I mean, you can tell, tell, tell us first. Okay, should I do 2.5? 2.5. You may not have noticed this, but I definitely did. These steps are really, really short. My foot hangs off of them. Really? Yeah. Well, you can blame God for that one for your <laughs> big feet, Will. No, but I mean, even, like, I'd have to put them, like, completely sideways. Um, much shorter than any other fifth wheel I've ever been in. Sounds like a personal problem, partner. <laughs> So that's number 2.5 and the number three will i don't like these yeah um i can just i'm a side sleeper and i can see myself rolling over and hitting, hitting my head. head yep and again even if you're not hitting your head i just don't like the concept of it leaning over me okay. or any of that stuff great well that's it that's review do you know what time it is it's now time for the msrp you're going down there or you got it is it down there it sure is oh let's go then not that bad at all, brother. Yeah. MSRP on this unit is $108,578. Will, that is MSRP. That's phenomenal MSRP. It is. Uh, but everybody knows we don't pay MSRP, and we can get you guys a lot better price than that. Here's how and why. Because we are partnered now with RV Retailer, y'all, which is a nationwide network of RV dealerships. So it doesn't matter if you live in Maine, Florida, New York, or California. We have a dealership partner close to you. All you guys have to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. Let us know what RV you're trying to purchase. Me and Will will oversee to make sure you guys get a great price, great service, and quite frankly, the best RV buying experience in the whole industry. Will, is there anything you'd like to say? Of course. Yeah, guys, it was um, definitely nice checking out this unit and seeing the um traveler version yes um make sure to leave down in the comments below let us know what you guys liked and disliked about the unit make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and will we'll see you next time